well, Indianapolis has own pop culture convention. It's called PopCon, and it's back. It's downtown after being virtual last year. It is back at the convention center. Guess who's there this morning? Sherman? Eric Pointer. Oh, Eric Pointer. <laughs> Where is Sherman? Where's Eric Pointer? We're going to do, start doing a new segment with you, Eric. All right, I'm ready for it. Yeah, so I'm here at the convention center and there people can expect to get everything that they've gotten before including like you know props like this I've got here in my hand and recently the convention center lifted many of their restrictions so people can get a pre pandemic experience now I want to show you because some of these vendors are already set up we've got lots of art lots of things going on that we're enjoying and seeing this morning now this convention has just about all things people love about pop culture from sci-fi to anime to TV and movies comedy and cosplay there's a little something for everyone offered here and the owner and co-creator Carl Doninger says that there have been lots of moving pieces and many of the guidelines changing this week leading up to their event we have been given the green light to kind of not have any COVID protocols and we're the first event back in the convention center for that to be true uh, all the major public entrances are going to be open but we as an event are encouraging people to take their own precautions come in feel comfortable taking their own precautions with their own personal protection equipment and uh, we really want everybody to feel safe uh, if they need to, if they prefer to be socially distant we will facilitate that now, new this year, the International Film Festival will be in person for the first time since it was created last year, and they already have about 100, they had 100 movie submissions from 21 different countries all around the world, and they'll also have laser tag, board games, video games, and also a virtual reality experience that people can take part in. That if you buy a ticket, you can take part in the virtual reality for free, and again, so many different popular movie and TV characters and actors will be here. I'm actually, I have a surprise for you guys. I'll be joined in the next hour of news by one of those big name celebrities from a TV show and, and, and you'll you'll see I don't want to give too much away but it'll be a treat and I'll have that coming up for you the next hour of news for now live here at the convention center Eric Pointer Fox 59 news